In this video, we will be having a more in-depth discussion about how Bitcoin investors can realistically benefit from using our TradingView indicators. As you may or may not know, we currently have two indicators available. The first one is named the Adaptive Power Law Fitting Indicator, and the second one is called the BTC Power Law Spirals Indicator. And these two indicators provide the clearest picture of Bitcoin's overall trend when used together. So it is highly advisable to subscribe to our $10 a month rocket scientist Patreon tier to be able to have access to both of these indicators. We will now show the simplest approach to using our indicators to make it more beginner friendly. It is important to note that we never use only one indicator alone. Instead, we combine several of them to improve the accuracy of the signals. Now, let's get to the charts. As you may notice, we have recently updated our adaptive power law fitting model to include this price projection from our full model, in addition to the trend deviation ribbons over here. So how can we really benefit from our two indicators? Well, first we want to have an unbiased view of what we would actually do in this situation over here. So let's go to an early market cycle. This is late 2013 over here. And let's use the replay function. Mm -hmm. Let's put the price action to late 2013. Mm -hmm. Now let's zoom in a little bit and let's press play. So as we can see, the price action will start going higher and higher. It's $200, $300. Should I sell? Should I sell now? Nah, <laughs> that would be a terrible idea as you will see soon because the price will surge past $1,000. Mm -hmm. You can see it over here. And soon our indicator will actually give a sell signal. It will come very soon. Mm -hmm. The top is in. Okay, so our indicator just sold at $786. Okay, so this wasn't quite the exact top. As you can see, it went past $1,000. But it's still pretty good considering where the price action will crash very soon. Plus, this indicator will only get more accurate in the future cycles, as you may see soon. I'm now fast forwarding the price action because this market crash will take quite a while, as you will see. Mm -hmm. And let's press pause. And as we can see, the indicator just sold at $315. So, how much did we make? Let's do a quick back of the envelope calculation over here. Mm -hmm. So, we've almost tripled our Bitcoin over here. No guessing based on emotional decisions, just following our indicators. Let's move on to the next market cycle. I'm fast forwarding again because this would take too long even with 10x replay speeds. And the spirals indicator notifies us as we move past the transition from the bear market to the bull market. And even when we're about to enter the most euphoric phase of the market. And the indicator once again gives us a pretty good estimate of the top at $13,441 saving us from the devastating crash to about $3,000. And the bottom is called at around $3,823, which is very close to the true bottom. This time, we have almost quadrupled our Bitcoin holdings. Finally, let's go to our last market cycle. Again, the indicators give us timely warnings as we move past the different phases of the market cycle. And the indicators are not fooled by our first top, which happened too early. Instead, they wait for the second top before the price action gets really bearish. This time, the bottom is almost spot on again, and we have once again almost tripled our Bitcoin. You could even further increase your profits by selling when the price action goes past an imminent adaptive power law fitting peak. And the indicators allow you to estimate when this could be a good idea. I will now give a very brief example of this type of more in-depth approach that more closely resembles our own approach to investing. Let's go back to the 2013 bubble. Our current BTC time is around 11.47 according to the BTC spiral clock as visualized by the BTC power law spirals indicator. Therefore, we know that the true top has either recently happened or is very close. People could even set timers and trading view before such important events to be fully prepared. 
The orange line illustrates the full model and is better at predicting tops. Conversely, the purple trend deviation ribbon from the adaptive power law fitting indicator and the estimates from the cycle indicator are better for predicting bottoms. These trend deviation ribbons are good indicators of support and resistance in general. The better selling signal comes after the white line goes above the orange line and then comes back down to intersect it. We could then have sold at a higher price of around $814 or so. Our next video about indicators will go more in depth and we'll have a discussion on how to use the convergence of several signals together to improve profitability. While these predictions may seem fishy at first, it is important to note that there is absolutely no trickery going on over here. Somebody could have just created some kind of fake indicator that claims to be 99 or 100% accurate by drawing a perfect line from this top over here to the bottom over here and then tried to sell it, but this is clearly not what's going on. Instead, all of these lines here are just based on pure math and our power law model. Also, as you can see, the indicators are a little bit more accurate for the bottoms than for the tops because there's a little bit more chaos and unpredictability during the tops. It's a little bit more difficult to estimate where it could be, but it's still pretty damn accurate. It is simply incredible to see such order in an asset. Also, the tops are still correctly predicted within a three-month window, which is very accurate for a four-year cycle. And we could not do this for the vast majority of stocks, for example, we have to be honest, because they are a lot less predictable and do not follow power laws. We also have an amazing team of contributing members and moderators who create modifications to our indicators and share their suggestions and ideas on our Discord server. One of these members is Saving Face, so go ahead and follow him on X by using the link in the description. We are planning to add even more indicators in the future, so make sure to stay tuned. Also, make sure to check out our last indicators guide if you wish to learn more information about how to set up or read the indicators. The link to that can be found in the description as well. Now, what about DCA investors who never want to sell, even during the tops? That is also a completely valid strategy, and our indicators allow you to do this much more efficiently. So, let's... Take the recent price action as an example. So we have the red ribbon over here. And let's make up a random strategy. For example, let's say that every month we're going to buy about $10 worth of Bitcoin when it's at this red line over here. $20 worth of Bitcoin at the orange line and $30 worth of Bitcoin at the yellow line. So this would mean that uh, we would actually buy only $10 worth of Bitcoin during the tops when Bitcoin is super euphoric and more than $100 worth of Bitcoin during the bottoms, which greatly decreases your average purchasing price of Bitcoin, which again allows you to buy much more Bitcoin. We also have some other weighted dollar cost averaging strategies that we're developing and even have a beta version of an automated system that posts signals which reflect the bot's ideas on how much to keep in cash and how much to convert into Bitcoin. Overall, there are so many incredible ideas and suggestions on our Discord server. In conclusion, you could choose a strategy more similar to the first one or the second one or even a combination of the two. However, you should keep in mind that these are just examples and should not be taken as investment advice. However, if used correctly, our indicators could more than pay their weight in gold or even better, Bitcoin.